in a new empty project we will create two software instrument tracks. One will host our software instrument, while the other will be assigned to the arpeggiator. On the first track we will assign a software instrument with effects. We will use a program called Analog Perk Sync, located in the Synthesizers Sequence Elements category. We will drop in a MIDI file in the Arrange area and place it on the first track. This file contains a set of chords that will later be arpeggiated. To loop this region, we will click the Set Locators button. To set up the arpeggiator, we will go to the Environment window. We will click on the New menu and then choose Arpeggiator. This will create a new arpeggiator object. We will drag the arpeggiator object to the bottom of the first strip. The arpeggiator object has an output that is represented by a small triangle. By clicking and dragging this triangle, we'll be able to connect it to the software instrument channel strip. In the arrange window, we will assign the second track to the arpeggiator by holding down the control key and clicking the mouse button. A menu will appear and we will choose Reassign Track Object Mixer Arpeggiator By doing this we can now input notes in order to arpeggiate them. We can have the arpeggiated notes on and off by distributing them between both tracks. To distribute them we will cut the region in the first track in four parts. We will drag and drop the first and third parts to the arpeggiator track. Let's hit the play button or the spacebar to listen. This is to demonstrate how the arpeggiator only acts when activated by the notes in the arpeggiator track. We will hit the stop button now. Now we will place all the regions in the arpeggiator track. In the track inspector of the arpeggiator track, there are 10 parameters. In this example, we will modify four of them. 1. The direction of the succession of notes in the arpeggiator. Up, down, up, down alternation, etc. We will choose down. 2. The resolution, which is the speed of the succession of notes in the arpeggio. We will choose 16. 3. The note length. The higher the value, the shorter the note. We will choose 1 32nd. With this setting, the length of the notes arpeggiated become independent of the length of the notes in the region. 4. The range of octaves that our arpeggio will cover. These are octaves like in a piano. We will choose 4. Now we can listen to our arpeggio by clicking the play button. Thank you for watching.